bottles of cans of food and hand sanitizer. Well, dreams of an endless summer could actually be turning into a real-life nightmare. After this season's record heat, choking smoke and unprecedented fires, today a new report has revealed the Harbour City now has almost a month more of summer than it did in the 1960s. A mustard-coloured autumn morning was still borrowing heavily from summer, given the temperatures in Sydney today. As the first Monday of the new season tracked the clock, we would hit a high of 37 in the city and just shy of 40 at Penrith. But thankfully at Rural Fire Service HQ, the State Operations Centre was quiet after a summer to remember for all the wrong reasons. Many uh, uh, very seasoned firefighters just say that they have not seen fire behaviour that severe before. And today, grim predictions from a new report comparing temperatures at the start of summer from the 50s and 60s with the turn of the millennium, finding the summer heat now starts earlier and ends later. So this is all Bureau of Meteorology data taken from 70 weather stations across the non-tropical parts, but the most populous parts of Australia. In Sydney, it's estimated summer now starts around November the 21st and ends March 19th, adding an extra 28 days to the season. That has come at the expense of winter, now claimed to be just on two months long, losing 15 days to the encroaching autumn and spring as they are pushed down the calendar by the ever-growing summer. And when you look at the last five years, the difference is even starker. It comes down to summer now being twice as long as winter. A warning that the summers we used to remember are no longer the summers we can expect to see. Mike Dalton, Nine News.